Hey Chad, can you help me with PLC programming? Of course. What specific aspect of PLC programming do you need help with? I have the finder of the controller and I would like to program it using a sketch language. Uh, programming the finder opta controller using the sketch language, similar to Arduino, can be quite efficient. Wow, this is amazing. I have been waiting for that moment for a very long time. Now I can program the Finder Opta and PLCs using personal assistant artificial intelligence. Let's get started with this video. I'll program some basic scenarios. Let's move on to programming. I opened the Arduino IDE environment and I started a new sketch. What exactly is sketch? I'm not sure, so I asked um, artificial intelligence uh, and I entered this question to the chat GPT. In which programming languages can we program the finder of the controller? Here I have a short answer. I see that I have um, LD, ladder logic diagram, structure text, FBD diagram and many more. But also I can program in Arduino IDE and I can use C and C++. But what exactly is sketch? What is sketch language? Okay, uh, and I see that sketch is simplified version of C and C++ used for Arduino programming. I will use that language because ChatGPT has better understanding of uh, text-based languages. Let's start uh, the first program, so I will um, type a prompt uh, to the chat GPT, write a program for the finder of the controller that will blink the built-in LED in sketch language. For most Arduino boards, LED built-in is set by default to the pin connected to the built-in LED. Okay, okay, and here I have a sample code. I will copy that and I will paste here in Arduino board. I have connected uh, the Opta to the computer by using USB cable. Right now I will compile the sketch and I will upload that to the memory of the controller. Let's check it out. I see that the program works. The LED built-in diode is blinking right now. Okay, so I will modify that program. I will prepare the next prompt to my chat GPT. Great, it works. In that case, please write a program that when the user button on Opta is pressed, activates the relay output Q1 and signals this with LED1. Here I have the new program. I will copy that and paste to Arduino IDE and let's upload it. Okay, I will go to my controller. When I press the user button, the built-in LED is set on, as well as Q1 physical output. As you can see, I have connected LED to Q1 output and it is also set on. ChatGPT works very well, so let's modify the program. Modify the program if the time elapses it and the button is pressed, pulse the output and the LED. The pulsing time is one second. If I release the button, the output and the LED should turn off immediately. Let's check it out. Okay, I will copy that. I see that the configuration is okay. I have user button, a relay, output and LED built in. Let's upload it to the memory. When I press the user button, after one second, I have a pulse effect. It works perfectly. When I release the button, the output is turned off. Okay, uh, I have connected to the Finder Opta elements like uh, stop and start button as well as LED, green LED. I will give another prompt 
I have the following buttons connected to the controller inputs. I1, bistable button with NC, normally closed contacts. I2, bistable button with normally open contacts. Using the button connected to I1, we stop the pulsing effect. And I can start the system again using the user button or I2 input. Let's try it. Okay, I have here the full code. Let's copy it to the Arduino ID and we try the modified code. Okay, when I press the user button, after one second, I have the pulsing effect. And when I release the button, the pulsing effect is turned off. Let's test this program. I press the start button. After one second, I have a pulsating effect. And when I press the stop button, the output is immediately turned off. When I release the stop button, the program starts. This video is sponsored by my learning platform, Controlbyte. If you are interested in learning more about industrial automation programming, be sure to sign up for our newsletter below the video. By leaving your email, you will receive free materials on programming industrial automation systems. Don't miss out on this opportunity to enhance your skills and knowledge in this growing field. Sign up for our newsletter and start learning today. Controlbyte platform offers easy-to-follow courses on industrial automation programming. Our platform has expert teachers, practical projects and flexible learning options. Join us to learn new skills and boost your career in industrial automation. Let's go back to my code. I'll program next scenarios with AI. It's not what I want to do, so I will do uh, the last modification. The diode stops pulsing. The start button is only supposed to initiate pulsing. We only stop pulsing with the stop button. Okay, let's try this. And in a minute we will see the final effect. Okay, let's start the program. Okay, when I press the stop button, it immediately stops the output. Let's try with the user button. The same. Press the stop button and the output is turned off. That's it for this video. I hope you now see how useful artificial intelligence can be. It can really help you to get more done. But remember, you still need to learn programming. As a programmer, you need to think for yourself and understand how work with AI. Sometimes you will have to check the code yourself to make sure it's right. Leave a comment about what you think of using AI with industrial automation controllers. I'd love to hear your thoughts. See you in the next video on Controbyte channel. Hit the like button, subscribe. See ya.